Hello guys, this quick video is about how to reduce image size using GIMP. GIMP is an open source image editor and is free to download. I'll be giving the link in description so that just in case you want to download you can do it. So when we say uh, reducing image size it has two parts. First reducing the file size in terms of MBs or KBs. And the second part is reducing the dimensions, like if the image is too large and you want to reduce its dimensions. So I just downloaded this image of Google. It's a camera picture. Let's have a look here. It's at the properties. So the file size is little less than 10 MBs. And the dimensions are 4928 by 3264 pixels. So let's try to first reduce the file size and then try to reduce the dimensions. So I'm just gonna open GIMP and I'll just drag this image in GIMP. Sorry, I just reduced it. And I just drag it here and the image is loading up. Here we have it. Okay, so, so to first to reduce the file size, we'll go into file, export as, and when we go to export as, so I, I have saved saved the original picture in tutorial folder. So I, I'll be changing the name of the file with reduce size, say reduce size. It would go into the same folder named tutorial right and I'm gonna see the this original size is showing here as 9.9 .9 MB as I said it's a little less than 10 MB so I'll click on export here I missed to put dot so it's camera reduce size dot JPG okay so I I'll click on export and a small pop-up comes up so it says quality 98% and let's click on this checkbox here show preview in image window I'm just gonna do it and it's saying calculating file size so it's calculating the file size at 98% quality so let's see what it comes up with so it says 9.1 MB so if we want to reduce the file size we would move this slider to the left or we can also type in the number here say we are wanting quality at 75% so I can type here 75 straight and hit enter and the slider would move to the left on its own and it's calculating the file size so let's see so at 75 percent of the quality the file size would be 1.6 megabytes so you can always play around like white what kind of quality you are looking for because for web purposes or attaching a picture in email it has to be like a little lower on the MB side so you can always do it and then just click on export and the file would get exported to the folder of your choice like in my case it's tutorial I'm just gonna cancel it here and I'll just cancel it here and now let's see how to reduce the dim dimensions of the image so I would go here in that menu bar image click on image and then go down to scale image so here it says the same dimensions which I showed you in the beginning width 4928 pixels height 3264 pixels say we are wanting to reduce the width to 1280 and when I click here on height so it height automatically changes because the aspect ratio remains the same so it's 1280 by 848 so we can just scale click on scale and the image size would be reduced say I'm just gonna do it scale 
So image size is reduced. We can always go to file and then export as and then we save the file as we did before. And one thing more I would like to tell you here is let me just do control Z so that we are back. Okay, so image scale image. So as I said, the aspect ratio would be maintained. Say if we do not want to maintain the aspect ratio and uh, we, I want 1280 by 760. So by clicking here, it, it changes automatically to 848. But here, if we click on this tiny link and if it's 1280 here, now I can do it 720 and then click on scale so image would get scaled and then we can go and export as so that way you can reduce the file size in terms of megabytes and the size of image in terms of dimensions that is height and width I hope this video was helpful guys and uh, if it was really helpful I would request you to click on like, hit subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon in my next video.